What's up, everyone? Uh, Kaiser's back on the mic. We've got Flare Rats and Catherine up next. I just got done playing against Flare Rats, and it was 3-1 to me. And Lemons is joining me on the microphone. Yar. Um, yeah, if you're in chat and still, we had a bit of a net drop, so... Uh, just wondering, how long were we out for? Hmm. Yeah? What? Oh, are we playing? Uh. Okay. We're still here. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. Against McLeod? Okay. Ooh, so McLeod did not hold it down. So, 3 1 to Caleb versus McLeod. Let's look at this, Caleb. Clowned. I imagine they're just gonna get straight into it. Yes, they are. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the net did kick out, um, but we're back now. Uh, it probably dropped midway in my game against Flare Rats. Uh, that's no matter, because the VODs will be fine. I'll probably get the VODs up, like, ASAP as well. Unfortunate. It happens. You just gotta you just gotta roll with it when you're a streamer, you know? Streaming's like a huge ball, dude. When you're trying to, like, be a good player, but also, um... But also do a really good broadcast. How many other people in the country do that? <laughs> like, let, let the record show the amount of effort I put into the stream, as well as the amount of effort I put into playing the game. This could has the potential to be a really good match, actually. So, Caleb won three and lost three. McLeod... Uh, he just had a... Has, okay, so McLeod hasn't played Lemons yet. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if he's played Fenner, but I imagine he has. Um, it just has not been reported. Yeah, let me know when Dom's PR'd. <laughs> not to be that guy, but like, I really care about being good at this game as well. And like, I don't. I'm not too fussed about like how long it might take me to be really good either. Like I'm happy to just keep playing because this game's not very boring. There's so many boring games out there. This set's not very boring either. Nah, Lemons is pretty hype. He's just uh, he just is a bit silly sometimes in in the match. If he just like plays really clean and really solid math stuff, like he can go really far. And he'll definitely take some people down at Big Cheese. Like he's not someone to sleep on. He did play go 3 2 against me. Alright. Flaritz is in this. He sure is. So, yeah, I've played all my matches. So, Catherine and Lemons, I don't know if they've played. And Catherine and Flaritz, it's happening right now. Ugh. Honestly, like, I'm really happy with the players that we have in SA, like, it's a nice, like, like, it's mostly, it's mostly floaties, right? Like, I'm probably the only real Falco here, other than, like, you know, Nick's Falco. It's a nice spread of matchups. You, you got a Samus, you got a Falcon, you got a couple Falcons, actually. You got Musket, you got, you got Musket on Fox and Peach. Um, we don't really have, like, solo fox mains anymore. We've got Scraddles still, though. And he's been getting real good, too. Two, two, two. 
Catherine's actually like one of a. Uh, I don't know. She definitely has taken the Australian smart melee scene by some. Oh, that dare was so sick! If she got like another hit, it would have been so nice. Um, but yeah, Catherine's definitely been like one of the players kind of taking the Australian scene by surprise. Like, just this random. Just. You know, it's. Uh, you got the. You got the brother sister narrative going with Muska and Catherine. So you could you could say what say what you will about like, you know, being the being the lesser sibling in this scenario, but she's actually gotten really good over the last few years. When she started playing, she was like 13, 14 or so. We've all been in the scene for like five years now. Oh my- Oh! Oh, this is it. Florats can take this now. Florats really wants to win this Dreamland game. It's so hard against Peach, though. You just have to trade, trade, trade. And Catherine loves to play that game. She's gonna take the first game. So yeah, Catherine won Peach time in Melbourne, which was the Smash Sisters bracket at um, Fam 11 this year, which was in May. I don't think she dropped a game. Like, I'm pretty sure she didn't drop a game. Or, like, or at the very least, she didn't lose a set at all. And, like, Catherine's got all, like, all the Falco sh practice she needs with me. And she's got a really good matchup spread, actually, just in general. Yeah, look, if you're a Falco and you haven't played much Pe uh, versus much Peach, uh, like... It's really eye-opening, like figure, like finding out what, <laughs> like what melee really is, you know. Like, I find um people very, uh, ooh, ooh, all right, Florets. Uh, he, I was really hoping for a reverse fair on that recovery, but he, he'll be okay. Um, nice, really good, really good pressure. All right, sweet. Let's go, to Jack. Um, yeah. So like. Playing against Peach, what you like, it definitely changes a lot of your preconceptions about what melee is and isn't. You know, like I think it's like a learning experience that everyone should go through, and obviously you have to if you want to be any good at this game, right? Because like you'll find a Peach in bracket at some point, and if you don't know how to play against her, then you are going O2, my friend. But it's just one of those things where it's like you have to know when not to, not to challenge, but you also have to know like how to be close to them as they're like exiting hit stun because that's the weak thing about like floaties, right? Is like as they're exiting hit stun, um, they don't usually have a lot of good defensive options like the space animals do. Like they don't have like frame one shine. Um, so you gotta oh Jack, that was merciless. Like you have to know. You'd have to know, like, how many cookies to take from the jar, you know? Otherwise, Peach gonna walk into the kitchen and slap your hand, slap them out of your hand. Yeah, most Brawl character, I think, like, is a reasonable way to put it, but also, like, it's a very, like, melee kind of... Because, like, the thing about it, it, that implies that you don't get combos on Peach, which you can. Um... You just have to know like how to play around her exiting hit stun to extend combos when you might not normally. Yeah, melee interpretation of brawl, I guess. Like her, even her air dodge looks like a brawl air dodge sometimes. All right, Jack, looking a lot better. I think Stadium is such a flare out stage, honestly. Like when he gets you knocked down and he does like the uh, short hop backflip. I just shit my pants, <laughs> like, cause I don't know what he, he's gonna fair me like a hunt, like half the time, and then the other half the time he's gonna, I'm gonna get grabbed. But now Florat needs to not just not get too overconfident here. You have to, you still have to be able to wall out Peach. That's the thing, right? It's like you have to be able to like space yourself. Oh, that was such a good fall through. Um, you have to be able to space yourself well enough that Peach just doesn't get free trades on you all the time. Because then that means Peach will be a lot less inclined to just mash out a hit stun, like mash an attack out a hit stun, like down smash or nair if you're in the air, and then you can start getting like really custom with your uh, like extended combos. 
because like they won't be pressing a button after hits none. Oh yes, Jack. Jack is down to clown. Oh, up here. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to all the problems I've been having with USB today. Look at that camera just like flicker. So much fun. If anyone wants to spon if uh, Magewell wants to sponsor the stream and cop me a, uh, a free twelve hundred dollar four port HDMI PCIe capture card, um, hit me up. But uh, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Oh, see that that's what I mean, right? Like you can pressure Peach, right? But you also have to be spaced well enough so that she doesn't just try and trade with you because she'll get the better end of it most of the time. I see there, like Florats is willing to take the risk because Fair's such a good like thing to trade with in this matchup. It's actually one of the few things that Peach doesn't want to trade with because like Sheik's just so good at edge guarding Peach, honestly. Oh, very scary. Like even if uh, Jack gets a fair here though, it's not gonna do much. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit Moth Peach actually, very similar. But um, with Moth Peach you have down tilt to force respect with, but she doesn't have that. And also like so many of uh, Sheik things can be crouch cancelled, and like yeah, Peach's <laughs> Peach players are gonna be crouch cancelling, even at like the hundreds of percents. And that's the one thing that Sheik is really weak to. So it also means that like Sheik has to crash cancel sometimes, and that's really scary to do against um, Peach. You got to give and take. I feel you really got to give and take with this matchup. Like just Peach in general, it's just like you get your hits in, and then you and then you wait for Peach to like stick out a bad move, because not all of Peach's moves are created equal. Let let me tell you. Really good wall from Florats right now. See, that's good. That's the good pressure, right? He comes down with that fair and he jabs, and all that led into was him getting that up air because of it. It was really nice by him. Oh, uh, see, yeah, that's like you have to really look at the percents. I feel, um, because it really changes what you can and can't do against Peach. Oh, great shield grab. I will say the, the, peach, the peach Float Cancel game has a lot of work to do here in SA. I've I definitely been Float Cancel... I've been definitely been shield grabbing a lot of like Float Cancel fares, you know? Ooh. Maybe Jack could have got a bear there, but he really wanted to send Catherine up safe with a forward air. Yeah, that, that's such a nice setup. Like, because even if he doesn't send Peach off stage, the down smash covers two out of three. Probably covered at everything, if I'm being honest. Like, noise. Oh, yeah. See, like that backflip. It just gives uh, Jack that, like, little extra maneuverability that he needs. And it's, like, one of the things that he's really comfortable doing. Just, like, aerial drifting. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's, that's the shit you want against Peach, right? You want to nair him and just back off. Take your damage. Let's play the neutral. Like, Sheik's got a little bit better neutral all, half the time, I feel. Until turnips get involved and, like, <laughs> Peach get, or, like, gets away with robbery. Um, I'm just going to quickly follow up some uh, match reporting.
Alright, what's up? I'm back. Um, finished reporting everything, so if you type bracket into chat, um, you can see the updated scores. But this is actually the last set of the day. Um, so it's like 9 o'clock, and we're finally wrapping up soon. I'm looking forward to see Jack take this, honestly. Like, it, like the fact that it's gone to 2-1 to in Catherine's favor here, here and now, makes me really excited for Game 5. Nice! Damn, that down three is... It's something. Sheik in NTSC has me feeling a certain type of way. Oh, lol? Okay. I'm just getting word that Voltage Esports Club, like, tweeted out some rankings for... Uh, ultimate in Adelaide, but we actually hadn't released the rankings yet because we still had some more tournaments to get data from. So that's pretty um, spicy. Anyway, you can follow Couchwar at Couchwarriors SA on Twitter. Oh, three stuck! Flight's so got the momentum going into this last game. This is literally for all the marbles. I actually don't know if it's all for all the marbles. I think Florets hasn't lost. He's no. He hasn't lost against anyone else. Damn. Final game. Final set. This is actually it. Get hype. This is actually it. Florets and Catherine is the final one. It's the end of melee. It's the end of it. <laughs> EOM. <laughs> EOM. EOM. Ending E. End of melee. What? What? The, what the, ep the episode would be called like Air Dodge, right? Yeah. Maybe. Are you thinking like, of uh, Evangelion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because that's, that's what I was first thinking of, and then I thought of uh, uh, Nier Automata, because the ending of that oh, game. Oh, right. Uh, spoilers. Oh, no spoilers. Don't, yeah, no spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. I don't know. Well, there's, there's a thing where it says, at the end of your heart. Oh, and right. It's, yeah. E, the E is, like, special. Yeah. So, like, even at this point, even if Lorette wins, uh, I think I actually win the tournament. Oh. Don't say that. Oh, uh, check, check, double, double check those numbers. Like, uh, if it, no. people, you can look at the bracket. Like, um, but that was such a damn clean stock from Florats. I'm actually really know. proud of the way he's been playing. I don't know, guys. Kai might be trying to unsell it, but this match might mean a bit more. Don't let him. Don't let him distract you from the game. Well, here's the thing, right? When I mentioned to Florats, oh, we'll probably have to do a tiebreaker. He's like, all right, we'll have. Uh, nah, we're doing win percentage, and I'm like, oh, all right, we'll <laughs> throws that, it away. That, yeah, he actually threw it away then. <laughs> like, <laughs> Ooh, he's not in it for the money. He's not even in it for the pride. No. He's just in it to get out of here and get some KFC. Ooh, nice. Forest is playing so well. This is a, such a Jack stage now that I think about it. Yeah. I get, I get goosebumps when I'm playing Jack on this stage. Maybe it's like the, the sparkly water. No, you know what it is? It's because the damn chic color palette is so, like, matched with the fucking stage. Yeah. It's just really scary. It's a matching pair. <laughs> Quite nice. Ooh, the down smash, though. That could mean everything. Ooh. 
Big Such damage. a good turn up too. A lot of coverage from Catherine. If only Kashi to grab the ledge there. I like. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Tech. Uh oh. New tech. Uh oh. New tech. That was such a clean edge guard. This is really close now. Oh, you gotta be careful, Jack. They are low percent. That peach is too low percent for you to be jamming. Okay, there we go. That's that's the Jack I know. He he loves those full hop forward airs. Yeah. Jack's really gotta keep Catherine out now. Uh, and he's flubbing some things. Yeah, gets another shot. Ooh! Right, the tech. Oh, needles, dude. Oh, rough rough. okay. He, he has to not panic here. Catherine's playing clean, actually. Yeah, she's cutting off so much. Flores has gotta pull his head in if he wants to take this. He wants to take this very important match. It is, though. I want to see Flora's win so bad. Good float oh, height from Catherine. No bias here. I like seeing Flora's win, man. Yeah. Oh, that was so sick, actually. It's quite the oomph for that move. Alright, he just has to not get impatient and he can take this. Uh oh, that, that's Speaking not, of. That is not a, that does not bode well for the next 30 seconds. Like, like this match is going to be over the next 30 seconds for sure. It's not going to go past 420. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep. I'm calling it now. It's looking correct. Oh, careful. Okay, Jack has got to, like, he has to craft something for himself right here. <gasps> He's cooking it. Oh, no. I don't know if that up tilt was supposed to be an up air or anything, but, like, I can I can almost, like, understand the up, t up tilt. Oh, he always oh, the spacing. He was a little late Combo following up. Good. Up. Oh, 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 no, no, it's, he's nice. still in, he, he's still in this. <gasps> Let's go. What a play. All right, he's just ch he's just going to chill. He, oh, That's but great. that might That's be over. it. Oh, well. And it went past 420. Oh, no way. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> You're right. Five seconds. Five, that five extra five extra critical seconds. seconds. Those were the five seconds that Catherine got to grab, so they would be pretty important. Right? They were, actually. Could have been the difference. And that's it, everyone. The Cheese end of League Melee. November is done. Um, reminder, everyone, if you haven't already, there's only a small amount of time, like another two weeks or so, before um, before the big one. The Bam. big cheese. Oh, there it is. Just reminding you. Just reminding you. If you haven't signed up for the big cheese yet, just sign up. Uh, Smash or GG slash big cheese too. Down. We got FGC. We got Smash. We got Splatoon. We got it all in Adelaide, South, South Australia, Australia, down in during the days of December seventh and eighth. Yeah, I'm actually excited. So like, you want to know something funny, actually? Uh, yes. Um, so I've been like, kind of stressing. Well, not like stressing, right? But like, you know, second guessing stuff for like big cheese and shit. I'm like, oh fuck! Like, what if everything hits the fan? Mm. Um, but like, at this point now, I'm like, you know, after today, I kind of see that everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing, and like, when you know, when we what first, do you, what, what do you we mean first by start, that? Well, like, I don't have to worry about like running around like a headless shook, making people, making sure people were playing their matches, right? Because like, okay, here's the thing, right? So if you're coming down, you better make sure you're not running around like a headless no. shook. You better so be on time at your pools, well playing your games, <laughs> <laughs> or else get out of here. Get out of here. No, but like, um, like. I don't know how many people remember, but like SXC 2015 and like how I got like a bunch of new people to help with like volunteering and stuff. On new people. And I like, uh, just people were not prepared for like an 80 person tournament. Was it was like, a, it was like 80, 90 person tournament. Was that I time. volunteering that year or was I volunteering the year after? I can't remember, but that was yeah. the one when we were up in Rumors Cafe. I think it might have been the first one I went to. Yeah. It was the one I made top eight intros for. Okay. Um, but anyway, and then, that like, right. then you just had, like, interstate people trying to take control of, like, the event and just, like, oh, we just want to make sure our matches, like, the tournament runs smooth. But it was, like, oh, man, just a, just, that was mm. probably the most stressed I've ever been at, like, running events ever. But um, it seems like now we're no longer in the era of, like, us not giving a fuck. Like I, I, like, I actually think that a lot of people in Adelaide now, like, actually care about the scene and actually want to, like, do a good job now, which is really good. And um, it makes me very happy that, like, we are long past playing winners finals, Puff versus Puff Big Blue at Street Geek because there's no prize part. So, like, I'm just I'm just glad that we got this far. I'm really glad that, like, where Kalatori is now. 
I'm really happy that like we're running sick events, and I'm really happy like people were really coming out and supporting it. So it makes me very warm inside that like you know I can safely say I run this shit, mm-hmm. <laughs> but like also uh, the scene would not be what it is now without the people showing up. So like fucking shout out to everyone watching, and shout out to everyone coming to events and stuff. Like mad. And if you want to be part of this beautiful process, you should sign up to Big Cheese today. Yeah, yeah. So Big Cheese Two today. Yeah, Smash GG slash Big Cheese Two. Do it, and tell everyone's your welcome. Does this replace Evac? By the way, I mean Evac happens in the same room now. Like yeah. we just run everything here, and it works out really well. So yeah. it's really nice. It's a much nicer room than we used to have. Yeah. All right. Um. Cause yeah, evac happens like Wednesday and Friday. They run ultimate weeklies on Wednesday. I don't stream those. Yeah. And Friday we run an uh, alternating tournament every two weeks. Yeah. If you're coming for melee, probably I don't think many people go on Wednesday for melee. No, no, no. no. I, I like I sometimes I sometimes show up, but like but it's Friday, just depending on Friday is a good bet. Also Friday for uh, various FGC stuff like yeah. uh, you know play Marvel, yeah, Street I love Fighter Third Three, Strike, yeah. Third Strike. All right, uh, I what should. Else? All right, I should probably pack up. I'm yeah, I want to go home. All right. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been really wor- it's been really real. And it's been a pleasure putting on a broadcast for everyone. Bye-bye. Like I always like this. I always like this stuff, and it makes me happy that other people like watching it. If you want to support, just follow the channel. It's the easiest thing you can do. Um, if you really want to support, you can subscribe. But I'm not forcing you. It, it it is nice to have subscribers on Twitch. But if you do subscribe, what kind of sick emotes will you get? You, you just like none of them matter except for. Uh, Kaiser Lord Champ, which is just Bailey's head just going. Yes, the new Genka. Kaiser Lord Champ. What? Yeah, he knew. Who tied? Catherine? Yeah, Catherine. Okay. Damn. And then, yeah, you did not have a good day when I was looking at the bracket. What do you mean? I had a great day. No, you actually played pretty well, dude. You played good, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the, your results. Like, yeah. yeah. Like looking at the results you know what's tragic is that, I mean, this might sound a bit like desperate. But you know how I well, like just 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 put it on record that I did beat you one game in Street Fighter Three. Yeah, you did. Okay, because the 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 bracket does not reflect that. <laughs> so I'm just putting it out there. Oh wow, they didn't report that. They reported it as two zero. Oh. So you know, just Excuse so you know, me. I did take a game. All right. Well, I'm gonna host the man's Nez, the hardest working controller model in the damn business, oh, nice. and I'm gonna send you on your way. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to pack up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.